Hello and welcome to the Web Certain Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. A German court has ruled that companies are no longer allowed to have their ads appear under search results for a competitor. YouTube is to use third-party businesses to ensure that ads are not posted besides controversial content, and Android has become the most used operating system in the world. German court has ruled that companies on Google AdWords are now no longer allowed to have their ads appear under search results for a competitor. The ruling came after an unnamed business was found to be using a rival brand's name in its Google AdWords campaign. The company in question had denied that they had used a competitor's name as a keyword within its advertising campaign, but was found guilty. The court's ruling went further than many expected, however. It ruled that even if a company was not responsible for the placement of the ad, it would still be liable for punishment. The judge in the case said that it was irrelevant whether the heading was chosen by the defendant or created by Google. This means that all companies advertising in Germany may now have to manually check that the ads do not appear in the search results for a competitor's name if they want to make sure that they avoid punishment. YouTube is to use third-party companies to ensure that brand adverts do not appear next to what it calls objectionable content. The move comes after a mass exodus of high-profile brands from the video site after some brand adverts were found to be funding extremist organizations. Google, YouTube's parent company, said that it would be working with trusted vendors to provide third-party brand safety reporting. The new approach from Google will mean that independent companies will now review certain content and examine how ads are being published. Google has also said that it'll be employing a significant number of people itself to work towards the same goal in order to give brands more control over where their ads are posted. Android has surpassed Windows as the world's most popular operating system. In a study performed in March 2017, it was found that worldwide 37.93% of people now use Android, compared to 37.91% of people who use Windows. Both operating systems are far ahead of third-placed iOS, which was used by 13% of the world's digital population. The study was conducted by StatCounter, who said that the change was a milestone in technology history and the end of an era, adding that the news marks the end of Microsoft's leadership worldwide of the OS market, which it's held since the 1980s. It was also pointed out that Android has seen unprecedented success in recent years, since it held just 2.4% of global internet usage share only five years ago. WhatsApp is set to launch a peer-to-peer -peer payment system in India. Currently, the chat app is used by around 200 million people in the country, its largest market in the world. According to The Ken, an Indian media company, WhatsApp is planning to implement a cross-bank payment system within its platform within the next six months. Recently, WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton said that the company was looking to incorporate a payment service, a process which it was in the early stages of. It was also added by WhatsApp that India is an important country for it, all adding to the likelihood that the service is to be introduced. And finally, research from JP Morgan has identified the most engaging ad format on Snapchat. The study found that sponsored filters were the most successful, with 49% of users engaging with the ads. This compares to just 32% of users who engaged with video ads on the platform and 27% of people who engaged with swipe up ads. eMarketer commented on the findings, saying that even though filters were more successful, they are harder to scale, presenting problems for advertisers. And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our catch-up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.